So, the 2022 World Cup is finally over, and wow, <laughs> it, it was just crazy. You know, like every single match, I've seen it, and since no one has ranked the matches before, I thought, why not take advantage of that and actually rank them? And some of these matches I've actually been in the arena for, and I'll tell you which ones when I rank them. So, let's do it. The first up, we have Qatar versus Ecuador. I mean, I knew Ecuador was gonna win, but I did not. I think I did, I did not know they would win like like this. You know, I thought it was gonna be like a zero one, like like near the end of the match because Qatar would play well. Nope, Qatar played terribly, and Ecuador scored two goals, one of them a penalty. And, yeah, it, it was just crazy, man. Although the match isn't really memorable, so I'm going to have to put it in the C tier. But, no, actually, let me, let me put it in the B tier. For it being the opener and to, to, have to, 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 to start the World Cup like that, it's pretty crazy. Alright, next up is... England versus Iran, 6-2, and I gotta say, I don't really like watching uh, demolished matches, but this one was actually not too bad to see, and that's the reason why I'm putting it in the B tier. Uh, so, Senegal versus Netherlands, not really good with flags, um, uh, no, not that bad of a match, although it's not really memorable, I don't remember who scored and when they scored, but I do remember it being a solid enough match, so I'll put it in the C tier, I guess. Um, USA versus Wales. Um, like most USA matches during the World Cup, nothing eventful happened besides the goals themselves, and I do remember it being okay, so for that reason, I'll also put it in the C tier. So, yeah. Uh, Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. This was actually like a good shocker like to open up like uh, their group stage with. So this is actually a very fun match to see. And you know, I, I, I did not see all, all of it. So for that reason I had to catch some of it on highlights. But I do remember being a good match for what it was. And I'll put it in the A tier because of it. Um, Tunisia versus Denmark. Uh, now, I'm not trying to be biased because I was in the arena for this match, but this was an okay match. This was an okay match. I'm going to put it in the seat, in, in the B tier, because uh, Tunisia had so many goal opportunities that they could have taken advantage of to make it like a 0-1 or 0-2, but, you know, they didn't. But it's fine. Um, Mexico versus Poland. This was a very, very good match. Um, and, you know, a missed penalty attempt from uh, Lewandowski, which was absolutely crazy to see. And, you know, also for the Morocco fans. <laughs> and, you know, I swear, like, Mexico, Mexico's goalkeeper was on very tight that night. And France was on uh, very tight for, you know, their match against Australia, 4-1. And I don't know if I remember much about this one, but I do remember it being a very good match. And I'll put it in the B tier. Maybe I'll put it above Qatar and Ecuador. Now uh, I apologize if some of these don't have the scoreboards. You know, I think it's only like Qatar versus Ecuador and like another one down here. Maybe like France versus Poland that doesn't have the scoreboards. So we're all good with that. Next up is Morocco versus Croatia in the group stage. <laughs> so not the third place match. But I do remember this match being okay. The, the, the third place match was good. But this one was also good. And I'm going to put it in the B tier. So, you know, the match quality will start to ramp up a little bit. Uh, and starting with Germany versus Japan, which was really, really good. Um... I'm going to have to put it in the top of the B tier, because I, I do remember having a lot of fun watching this match. And going back to, you know, like, I don't like uh, demolished matches, but exceptions are, 
you know, England versus Iran and Spain versus Costa Rica, 7-0, which was really shocking to see. Um, but besides the demolish uh, factor, nothing too memorable about this match. Like, not, 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 not of the saves or anything. Um, Belgium versus Canada. Belgium won 1-0. Um, again, not too, not a memorable match, but I do remember it being okay. Um, Switzerland versus Cameroon. You know what's funny? Uh, the guy who, uh, like, you know, uh, somebody from Cameroon who plays in the Switzerland team scored for Switzerland and, you know, he did not celebrate. But I do remember this being an okay match. So I'll put it in the, to uh, the top of the C tier. Come on. All right. Uh, Uruguay versus South Korea. I don't know. Both teams just need to get it together, man. I mean, th there was nothing memorable about this match. Not too many go goal opportunities. Like, both teams just need, just need to get their shit together around this time but you know I'm glad South Korea at least got some advantage later on uh, Portugal versus Ghana um, this was a good match I, I liked it I liked it a lot um, and it shows that you know but besides that uh, Ronaldo score uh, penalty score early on um, Ghana could, can play they can play and I remember a Ghana player, uh, uh, a player from Ghana hitting the suit, you know, <laughs> after the second goal. And I remember laughing at that very hard. Um, Brazil versus is this Serbia. Um, oh yeah, this is the, this is our Richard, uh, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, you know, it's Rich Alderson, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is where he scored those uh, two goals that were like out of this world. <laughs> And it's because of that, I'm going to put this match in the very high A tier. I mean, simple as that. Like, this match was unbelievable. Uh, and Serbia deserves all the credit for, you know, keeping the match going. But, you know, Rich Alderson and most other Brazil players like Neymar kept a clutch <laughs> during that match. Um, Wales versus Iran, 0-2. Um, I don't remember this, uh, being, you know, okay. I think, um, uh, I think I was going, like, insane when, you know, Iran scored, like, in, like, the very last moment of, like, the additional time in the second half. So, let me put this in the B tier, you know. Um, uh, Qatar versus Senegal, not really... Nothing too memorable about this match, besides the fact that, um, you know, Qatar is the first nation, nation to be undisputedly losing in every game. So, you know, I'm going to put that in the D tier, just nothing too memorable. Uh, Netherlands versus Ecuador. This was actually not a bad match. Uh, I was seriously rooting for Ecuador to, uh, I was seriously rooting for Ecuador to make it onto the knockout stage. But, because, you know, considering how well they played throughout, the, throughout this match, and, you know, the Qatar match where they embarrassed them, um, I'm going to put this right over their match with um, Qatar. Um, Wales, no, no, not Wales. Uh, England versus USA, D tier. This match was so boring, bro. This match was so boring. If I was being super critical, I would put it in the F tier, but I'm going to put it in the lowest D tier for now. I mean, what the hell happened? I don't remember anything happening in that match. Um, oh, God. Tunisia versus Australia. I was in the arena for this. But Tunisia had a lot of scoring opportunities. If if they were just like... Ooh, ooh, like, if they were like... Uh, if they were like looking both ways while like... Uh, like uh, moving the ball around... There could have been an opportunity to, to, to at least keep a clutch, you know, this is still the group stage where you don't need to, uh, where, where at, even after additional time, we don't need to go to extra time or penalties. This is still the group stage, my guy. <sighs> I wish this was a 1-1 match, but, you know, I mean, I knew, like, the, I knew that against Australia, the most we can do is, like, probably tie them, um, but... 
I hate this match man. I'm gonna put it at C tier. Uh, Poland versus Saudi Arabia. I'm pretty sure the Saudis were very angry with how this match went. I mean, I wasn't. This match was okay. I loved it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the uh, somewhere around here. I mean, this is the part of the video now where you know I have to really remember what I'm saying and what I'm thinking about every match because I want to be very specific with how I rank these matches. Um, okay, uh, France versus Denmark. Um, this match was okay. Uh, it's always Mbappe scoring uh, the uh, the good France goals, <laughs> so you know. Um, besides those Mbappe goals, uh, nothing too memorable happening here. So I'm going to put it in the middle of the C tier. Yeah, right there. Now, Argentina versus Mexico. This was not a bad match. I did like this match. The Messi, the, the Lionel Messi match coming in clutch, and even for, and and. And kudos to Fernandez for that amazing second goal. Uh, so you know this this was a, not, this was not a good. Uh, this is like a, this was good. Why am I stuttering so much? This was a good match to watch. There we go, a tier. That's where it belongs. You know, shout out to the Mexicans for keeping it clutch during that match. Japan versus Costa Rica. Uh, it was a bit shocking to see that to see Costa Rica scoring, but you know, not enough to get out of the group stage, and not enough for me to really remember much of it. So I think I'm putting in the C tier. And Belgium versus Morocco. This was not a bad match. Uh, similar level to their Croatia match uh, in the group stage. I'm gonna put this in the B tier. There, uh, Croatia versus Canada. This was a, a bit of a one-sided match, but you know, what are you gonna, you know, when you have Croatia versus Canada in a match, you know, you can't do much about it. So I'm gonna put this match in the high B. I think it deserves a high B. Um, Spain versus Germany. It's a bit shocking that you know Spain who beat Costa Rica 7-0 tied uh, Germany, <laughs> but you know it's very shocking to see Germany um, not get out of the group stage, considering considering since they already have a World Cup win under their belt. I'm gonna put this in middle of the C tier. Yeah, uh, Cameroon versus Serbia. This was a really good match. Really good match. Very competitive. And I, I, I loved it. Same with the... Uh, I'm going to put both of these in the A tier, by the way. So, yeah, Cameroon versus Serbia. Uh, wait, I forgot to move, like, uh, got to be very... I forgot to make, like, an actual, like, score for these. So, yeah, these two would go here. And, yeah, these two go around here. Um, Brazil versus Switzerland. It was obvious they were going to uh, they were gonna beat them. But, you know, this is still the group stage. Um, I don't really remember too much about this match, other than that one Kazimuna goal. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'd put this in the low B if I'm being honest. Portugal versus Uruguay. This was not a bad match to watch. I did like this. Although if I were to comment on it, when I was watching the match live, I knew that Bruno Fernandes scored that first goal. Like, how did people think that it was Ronaldo that scored that first goal and Fernandes scoring the penalty? Like, you can tell, like, Ronaldo's head did not hit the ball, bro. I mean, sure, good on him for keeping the goalkeeper distracted, but, you know, like, so, it was pretty obvious that Fernandes scored that goal, like, from a mile away. But, you know, still, at least it counts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Netherlands versus uh, Qatar 2-0 again I uh, don't really remember too much about this match either um, I think it uh, belongs here as well like I, I just don't remember it fam I just don't remember it uh, Senegal versus Ecuador Ecuador's uh, final opportunity to make it out of the uh, group stage and this match they failed, but you know it was really good to see them, like 
put their heart out into this match. I'm gonna put this in the B tier as well, somewhere around here. Uh, Wales versus England. Uh, you know, it was a bit weird seeing like you know two country, uh, two like uh, countries that are in the same like you know United United Kingdom, going at it. But uh, I don't I don't I don't remember this being a bad match at all. But mostly forgettable though. I put it in the high C. And Iran versus America, one zero. I don't. I, I. I. This was another boring match. Besides the goal, like in the around near, around the first half. Yeah, man. I just don't remember much about it. Like as most most America matches, I just don't remember it. Uh, Australia versus Denmark. I know the match where I only saw the highlights of it, but it was okay. You know, it it was not that bad. Um, you know, of course they ruined our opportunity to advance, but you know. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I guess I put it in the high C, yeah. Tunisia versus France. I love this match. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anybody says. This match is extremely underrated. And the fact that we got a very lucky goal, like, in the in the middle of the second half, is just glorious. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Mbappe was on the field for quite a while. But, and you know, the, the, all the other France players played well, like, this was the, this was a good match. Like, Griezmann was on the field from the very beginning, I think. So, was Giroud in the field from the very beginning? I can't remember, but, you know, it was a mix of top, of their top players and their mediocre players, but, you know, you gotta give a chance for everybody to play. But, you know, we still got the W, and, you know, they they actually gave Tunisia a good fight. You know, France is a good team. Besides, you know, they're mediocre players. Some people will say, "Oh, you got they let them win." I don't care, man. We still got the W, and I love this match a lot. Again, I might be biased because I was there, but I don't care. This match was awesome. And same with uh, Poland versus Argentina. I think uh, was it Alvarez and Messi that scored these two goals. I can't really remember, but I do know that this match was very good also. Uh, just barely beating out the uh, Tunisia match. Saudi Arabia versus Mexico. Um, both teams weren't able to qualify. Um, but I do think this match was okay. Um, I put it in like a middle C. Like I said, I do remember watching these matches live. But some of them are kind of forgettable. Belgium versus Croatia. Um, I do remember this being a fine match. You know, Croatia, you know, they were at the top of the group still here. So, you know, there was not really a need for them to, uh, for them to like, like win or anything. But uh, yeah, they, they they played fine, you know. I put this in like a high and like low B. Uh, Canada versus Morocco. This was not a bad match, and the fact that Morocco, because of this match, they topped the group is insane. Um, I put this match at a, like a high B. I think this was good. This was very very good. And the match itself was very good. Um, Japan versus Spain. Uh, this was also a good match. Um, I can't tell if this match, uh, yeah, this was the match that, you know, made them, like, still on the top of their group, um, but still, you know, this was, a, this was a fine match. I think I need, like, a counter for how many times I've said fine match at this point. <laughs> um, Germany versus Costa Rica. I, I was surprised at how many goals there were in this match, and I found this very joy, uh, very enjoyable. But I think I'd put it like a, yeah, probably around here, like a middle B. And South Korea versus Portugal. Uh, hmm. 
I don't remember much about this match. Yeah, I don't remember much about it. <laughs> nah, I put it put in like a low C. And same with this one, I don't remember. I, I mean, I'm glad Uruguay won, but I don't remember much about it, to be honest with you. Cameroon versus Brazil. Um, yeah, yeah, again. Continuing with these matches I don't remember much about. You know, but you know, I'm glad Cameroon, you know, got the win they needed to I th no I don't think this win gave them the gave them the opportunity to advance like at all <laughs> um, but you know it was fine it was good I like it um, so anyways um, to end off the group stage um, Serbia versus Switzerland. I think I remember this being a fine match. Um, I put this in around like a low C, I think. All right, so now we're getting onto the knockout stage. You know, quarterfinal, round of sixteen, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. Um, Netherlands versus USA. I like this match. You know, USA at least got a goal in, but you know, Netherlands definitely overshadowed them. I put this in like a low B. Somewhere around here. Um, Argentina versus Australia. Yet another strong match. I, I love that Messi and Alvarez kind of established themselves as like a good duo. Heading into the, you know, like, like the rest of the knockout stage. This was a, this is a strong match. I put it in like a, yeah, I, 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 I put it around here. Actually, yeah, I'll leave it here. I was considering moving Germany versus Japan over it, but, you know, it stays there. France versus Poland. I don't remember much about this match, but I do think that this was an okay match. I put it somewhere around here. Um, England versus Senegal. Um, I do like this match a lot. England, you know, had a lot of room to mess up, but you know they didn't. They they had they had it under control. And I put it around here in the in the middle B or high B. Now, um, have we reached the quarterfinals? Um, I think we have. Uh, no, 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 we're still in the round of sixteen. About to reach the uh, quarterfinals. Uh, Japan versus Croatia. This was a crazy match. This was a crazy, crazy match. Um, I put it around somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah. This was an absolutely crazy match. Um, Brazil uh, versus South Korea. That was like some straight bullying. <laughs> the, the, like it was bullying at that point. Like at that point, they, you were just bullying them, bro. Especially with like the like two goals in like the first twenty five minutes, like that was some crazy stuff. But uh, I do like this match a lot. Put it around like here in the high B. Morocco versus Spain, yet another future classic, and I'm so happy that Morocco advanced to the uh, like uh, to the. Uh, semi uh, quarterfinals I did not see this match but I did see highlights of it and it was crazy I put this in like a low A low A for sure Portugal versus Switzerland the final time uh, I, I was in the stadium so I went to all three Tunisia matches and then this one um, so yeah it was good to see uh, I, 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 another one of those demolished matches that I like Similar boat with the England versus Iran. And now we're getting into the point where all matches are just straight either A or S tier, man. Croatia versus Brazil. I don't know, it's either an S or a, or a high A. I'd give it high A. High A. This was an amazing match. 
Argentina versus Netherlands. Our first S tier of the video. <laughs> yep, that's it. Our first S tier of the video. I mean, this match is absolutely insane. Um, like, it's all, like, whenever, like, Argentina, Argentina go to penalties, I'm always scared because, you know, there's always a chance that they could mess up because they don't really know much of their players, like, in the penalty field. But, you know, they always do pretty well in the penalties nowadays. Morocco versus Portugal. This is, this is a high A for sure. I don't know where to put it, though. Uh, probably right above Argentina and Saudi Arabia. I was in a fan zone watching this match, and, you know, when the timer ended, all the, all the Morocco fans around me were, like, going absolutely crazy. And, you know, we had a good time. And it was a great moment. And, you know, I do feel bad for Ronaldo because he was not on the pitch. And he was there for, like, what, five minutes? Like, even lower than Portugal versus Switzerland. And... But yeah, man. We a lot of players retired that night. I think Pepe retired, Ronaldo retired. Like their World Cup appearances, at least. And did Fernandez retire too? Like Bruno Fernandez. I'm not sure if he retired too, but this is the shocker we needed, <laughs> and the and the history that we needed too. <laughs> Uh, England versus France, another fantastic match, um, but it's like in the lower, like, A, probably for me. I was shocked at how, like, England, I, I, was, I was shocked at how Harry Kane missed another penalty attempt. Like, he, he scored the first one, and then he missed the second one. Like, his reaction was just amazing to see. <laughs> But I knew France would win this, but, you know. Unfortunately, it did not come home. Sorry, Brits. <laughs> uh, Argentina and Croatia. I think this is the moment where uh, Alvarez, uh, Julian Alvarez, this is the moment he arrived, like, into the world. This is the moment he arrived. This dude, two goals, and one of them is, like, an, an amazing goal from with an assist from Messi. Like, like, that was crazy. And I think Messi scored a penalty early on as well. But, uh, yeah, even though this did, not, this did not go to penalties, it was amazing to see. Um, I put this in... Is this also an S-tier match? Are these both S-tier? I mean, this is an S-tier for sure, but I think this is also an S-tier. Yeah, you know what? I'm putting in the S tier, like bottom S tier, though. Bottom S tier. France versus Morocco, S tier, S tier. Put it in the S tier, man. This is the moment when Morocco proved that they can go against the very best of the world. Um, you know. Um, I think. I don't remember who's, uh, uh, which of the French scored. Was it. Did. Griezmann did not score. Mbappe did not score, but he helped out a lot. And I think ZS was did like a, a scissor kick to nearly score, but he hit the post. And I think Olivier Giroud did not score as well. But still, Morocco like arrived at the world that night. And I was actually in a cinema watching that because during the World Cup, they put like matches on at the cinemas. Um, so, you know, this is the first and the only time I went there to, you know, to watch this, to watch this match. And it was amazing, man. It was super awesome. Uh, the third place match of Morocco versus Croatia. The fact that Morocco scored a goal in this was absolutely amazing. Me and my family were freaking out when when they scored a when they scored a goal. Like like just just mere minutes after Croatia scored a goal. But you know um, you know Croatia won third place after being second four years prior. But, you know, this was still a very good match. This gets, like, a high A from me. And finally, the final of Argentina versus France. It, 
it's 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 S tier, man. Nah, not B tier. That's disgraceful. S tier, right there. There's nothing I can say about this match that hasn't been said already. People have called it the best football match of all time, the best World Cup match of all time. You know, like I agree. Like that was intense, <laughs> absolutely intense. When I well, when they went three one in the penalties, I thought Argentina won, but uh, but apparently like they if France missed the next one, then Argentina won. But no, they they went three two and then four two and then Argentina won. You know, it, it was absolutely amazing. Like, what else can I say? Like, I mean, going back to like France versus Denmark, it's always Mbappe. <laughs> I mean, Mbappe, to me, is the significance of a future GOAT to me. Uh, the dude scored a hat-trick one minute after scoring a penalty. Like, how cracked up and how talented you have to be to do that. And Messi scored... Um, Messi scored, like, he went over the line, like, just barely, and then a French player, like, kicked the ball away, and then he, like, he, was, like, he walked off the goal, like, very sad. And, yeah, Messi's uh, first uh, goal, like, was very, like, very good, but also very planned out, because, like, I already knew, based on the angle where they were putting the camera, <laughs> I mean, Messi was already going to score, score at that point. And Di Maria's goal... The dude came running in like it was Sonic the Hedgehog and like just and 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 it's almost like if Sonic were to score a goal with a spin dash. <laughs> Di Maria like lived up to his first name, Angel Di Maria. Cause that goal was crazy. But yeah, this whole match was crazy. Absolutely phenomenal. So guys, this is my World Cup match tier list. If you're one of those people who, who was like me and watched the entire uh, tournament, or just leave your top 10 in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And yeah, man, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for, uh, for, the, for 2022. It was great. And yeah, I'll see you guys in 2023. Peace.